Did you know that there is a phrase called making it rain? It's a fact. I'm a youth pastor, I work with young adults, I am a millennial, and although I've been in Central America for a number of years, I, I, I'll just be honest with you, I was behind the times. Like, I had a flip phone in 2016. <laughs> Not cool, and it wasn't because I was a hipster. Um, so, <laughs> but I had a budget, and that's why. So, there's this idea called make it rain, and it's all over you know, YouTube and videos and movies. And, and this whole idea is nothing new because every generation has its vices, has its pull, its temptation, this tendency to, to just make us go after money. And the idea of making it rain is literally making it rain. Yes. And I mean, like people want big money, big houses, nice cars. And yet it's not really raining money on most people. They're drowning. It's flooded, it's flooded with debt, it's flooded with hopelessness, it's flooded with despair, it's flooded in foreclosure, it's flooded in bankruptcy. People are not really experiencing that very often. And those who do, it's like that NFL guy who he got his big paycheck and he's up there and he's making it rain and you know what we find out years later? He's bankrupt because they're not managing what God's given them they're letting it manage them. It is the focal point and they spend it going crazy because that is, maybe that's what life is about for some people and they find that they're stuck. And all of us, all of us, no one is perfect in here. I know there are people in here who genuinely are struggling right now financially. Some of it is because we've made poor decisions or we didn't manage or we weren't intentional. Some of it is because there were crises in our lives and some of it is because we just don't know what we don't know. I didn't grow up in a family where I was taught how to manage our own finances. And some of you are well off and there's nothing wrong with that. I just wanna make that clear. You know, having nice things in a nice home or a large home is not wrong. Money is not evil, it's the love of money that is evil. 